Memphis Belle is the nickname of a Boeing B-17F flying fortress during the Second World War that inspired the making of two motion pictures, a 1944 documentary film, Memphis Belle, a story of a flying fortress, and a 1990 Hollywood feature film, Memphis Belle. The aircraft was one of the first B-17 United States Army Air Corps heavy bombers to complete 25 combat missions with her crew intact. The aircraft and crew then returned to the United States to sell war bonds. As of 2014, the aircraft is undergoing extensive restoration at the National Museum of the United States Air Force at Wright-Patterson AFB in Dayton, Ohio. Combat History The Memphis Bell, a Boeing-built B-17F-10 BO, USAAC serial number 41-24485 was added to the USAAC inventory on July 15, 1942, and delivered in September 1942 to the 91st Heavy Bombardment Group at Dow Field, Bangor, Maine. She deployed to Prestwick, Scotland, on September 30, 1942, to a temporary base at RAF Kimbolton on October 1, and then to her permanent base at Bassingbon, England, on October 14. Each side of the fuselage bore the unit identification markings of the 324th Bomb Squadron, DF, A. Captain Robert Morgan's crew flew 29 combat missions with the 324th Bomb Squadron, all but four in the Memphis Bell. The aircraft's 25 missions were, November 7, 1942, Brest, Brittany, November 9, 1942, St. Nazai, Brittany, November 17, 1942, St. Nazai, Brittany, December 6, 1942, Lille, France, December 20, 1942, Romilly sur Seine, France, December 30, 1942, Lorient, Brittany, January 3, 1943, St. Nazai, Brittany, January 13, 1943, Lille, January 23, 1943, Lorient, Brittany, February 14, 1943, Ham. Germany, February 16, 1943, St. Nazai, Brittany, February 27, 1943, Brest, Brittany. March 6, 1943, Lorient, Brittany, March 12, 1943, Rouen, France, March 13, 1943, Abbeville, France, March 22, 1943, Wilhelm Shaven, March 28, 1943, Rouen, March 31, 1943, Rotterdam, Netherlands, April 16, 1943, Lorient, Brittany, April 17, 1943, Bremen, Germany, May 1, 1943, St. Nazai, Brittany, May 13, 1943, Mult, France, May 14, 1943, Kiel, Germany, May 15, 1943, Wilhelm Shaven, May 17, 1943, Lorient, Brittany, May 19, 1943 Kiel, sources disagree. On which two of these three missions the Memphis Bell received mission credits for? Morgan's crew completed the following missions in B-17s other than the Memphis Bell, February 4, 1943, Emden, Germany, February 26, 1943, Wilhelm Shaven, April 5, 1943, Antwerp, Belgium, May 4, 1943, Antwerp, the aircraft was then flown back to the United States on June 8, 1943, by a composite crew chosen by the 8th Air Force from those who had flown combat aboard, led by Captain Morgan, for a 31-city war bond tour. Morgan's original co-pilot was Captain James A. Venice, who himself piloted the Memphis Bell for one mission. Venice was promoted to aircraft commander of another B-17 for his final 16 missions and finished his tour on May 13. He rejoined Morgan's crew as co-pilot for the flight back to the United States. The Hells Angels B-17 of the 303rd Bomb Group completed 25 combat missions on May 13, 1943, becoming the first B-17 to complete the feat, one week before the Memphis Bell. Source of the name the aircraft was the namesake of pilot Robert K. Morgan's sweetheart, Margaret Polk, a resident of Memphis, Tennessee. Morgan originally intended to call the B-17, Little One, after his pet name for her, but after Morgan and his co-pilot, Jim Venice, 
saw the movie Lady for a Night, in which the leading character owns a riverboat named the Memphis Belle, he proposed that name to his crew. Morgan then contacted George Petty at the offices of Esquire magazine and asked him for a pin-up drawing to go with the name, which Petty supplied from the magazine's April 1941 issue. The 91st S Group artist Corporal Tony Stasa reproduced the famous Petty Girl nose art on both sides of the forward fuselage, depicting her suit in blue on the aircraft's port side and in red on the starboard. The nose art later included 25 bomb shapes, one for each mission credit, and eight swastika designs, one for each German aircraft claimed shot down by the crew of the Memphis Belle. Station and crew names were stenciled below station windows on the aircraft after her tour of duty was completed. Postwar history, in his memoirs, Morgan claimed that during his publicity tour, he flew the B-17 between the Buncombe County Courthouse and the City Hall of Asheville, North Carolina, his hometown. Morgan wrote that after leaving the Asheville Regional Airport he decided to buzz the town, telling his co-pilot, Captain Venice, I think we'll just drive up over the city and give them a little goodbye salute. Morgan flew north and turned the bomber east down Patton Avenue, a main thoroughfare, toward downtown Asheville. When he observed the courthouse and the city hall apart, dead ahead, he lowered his left wing in a 60-degree bank and flew between the structures. He wrote that the city hall housed an AAC weather detachment whose commanding officer allegedly complained immediately to the Pentagon but was advised by a duty officer that Major Morgan has been given permission to buzz by General Henry Hap Arnold. Display in Memphis, after the war, the Memphis Bell was saved from reclamation at Altus Air Force Base, Oklahoma where she had been consigned since August 1, 1945, by the efforts of the mayor of Memphis, Walter Chandler, and the city bought the B-17 for $350. She was flown to Memphis in July 1946 and stored until the summer of 1949 when she was placed on display at the National Guard Armory near the city's fairgrounds. She sat out of doors into the 1980s, slowly deteriorating due to weather and vandalism. Souvenir hunters removed almost all of the interior components. Eventually no instruments were left in the cockpit, and virtually every removable piece of the aircraft's interior had been scavenged often severing the aircraft's wiring and control cables in the process. In the early 1970s, another mayor had donated the historic aircraft back to the Air Force, but they allowed her to remain in Memphis contingent on her being maintained. Efforts by the locally organized Memphis Bell Memorial Association, Inc. saw the aircraft moved to Mud Island in the Mississippi River in 1987 for display in a new pavilion with large tarp cover. She was still open to the elements, however, and prone to weathering. Pigeons would also nest inside the tarp and droppings were constantly needing removal from the B-17. Dissatisfaction with the site led to efforts to create a new museum facility in Shelby County. In the summer of 2003 the Bell was disassembled and moved to a restoration facility at the former Naval Air Station Memphis in Millington, Tennessee for work. In September 2004, however, the National Museum of the United States Air Force, apparently tiring of the ups and downs of the city's attempts to preserve the aircraft, indicated that they wanted her back for restoration and eventual display at the museum at Wright-Patterson AFB near Dayton, Ohio. The Memphis Bell The Final Chapter in Memphis, a documentary film by Ken Axmorka, Jr focuses on the history of the Bell in Memphis and emphasizes the final days and the volunteers who tried to keep one of the most famous aircraft in the world and another Memphis icon from disappearing. Move to Dayton On August 30, 2005, the MBMA announced that a consultant that they hired determined that the MBMA would not be able to raise enough money to restore the Bell and otherwise fulfill the Air Force's requirements to keep possession of the aircraft. They announced plans to return the aircraft to the National Museum of the United States Air Force at Wright-Patterson AFB near Dayton, Ohio, after a final exhibition at an air show in Millington, Tennessee from 30 September a year on October 2, 2005. The Bell arrived safely at the museum in mid-October 2005 and was placed in one of the museum's restoration hangars. The museum has placed restoration of Memphis Bell near the top of its priorities. In the magazine Friends Journal of the Museum's Foundation, 
Major General Charles D. Metcalf, USAF, the director of the museum, stated that it might take eight to ten years to fully restore the aircraft. By the spring of 2009, considerable preparatory work had been accomplished, but the fuselage and wings were still disassembled. After stripping the paint from the aft fuselage of the aircraft, hundreds of names and personal messages were found scratched in the aluminum skin. It turned out that, during the aircraft's war bond tour, people were allowed to leave their mark there. Memphis Bell Film 5 B-17s were used in the filming, two from the U.S., Sally B from the UK and two French Geographic Survey B-17s, one of which crashed on takeoff near the end of filming. A former civilian fire bomber, B-17 G-85 Desolita, AAC serial number 44 to 83546, FAA registered N-3703G, was converted into a B-17F configuration by installing a Sperry top turret, early style tail gunners compartment and waist gunners positions, and omitting the chin turret. That aircraft subsequently appeared in the 1990 fictionalized version of the Memphis Bell story, and continues to make air show appearances in that guise. Originally painted with a Warner Brothers movie version of the nose art and markings, the B-17 now carries the historic markings found on the actual Memphis Bell. That aircraft is currently leased by the Liberty Foundation and provides historical flight experiences to the public. The Sally B was also used in filming as the Memphis Bell. She is the last airworthy B-17 in the United Kingdom and is based at the Imperial War Museum, Duford. She is part of the USAAC World War II Memorial Flight and makes dozens of appearances across the United Kingdom and Northern Europe. She is maintained and run by volunteers, relying solely upon donations. The B-17 F-70BO Boeing B along with several other B-17s were also used in the film but not as the Memphis Bell. Now located at the Museum of Flight, Seattle, W.A. Serial named 42-29782. It is completely restored and potentially airworthy once again. Other aircraft named Memphis Bell, a Republic F-105D Thunderchief from 357th Tactical Fighter Squadron of the 355th Tactical Fighter Wing based at TAKHLI Royal Thai Air Base during the Vietnam War was named Memphis Bell II in honor of the original B-17F. The aircraft claimed to make 17 kills in addition to numerous bombing missions, and was the last F-105 to fly. She is currently preserved at the National Museum of the United States Air Force at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base near Dayton, Ohio. She was donated in April 1990. A Rockwell B-1B Lancer was named Memphis Bell. In 1996, Colonel Robert K. Morgan, pilot of the original Memphis Bell, received the opportunity to fly in this aircraft while she served with the Georgia Air National Guard's 116th Bomb Wing at Robbins AFB. Georgia. A General Dynamics FB-111A Aardvark was also nicknamed Memphis Bell II for a period during the 1980s. She is currently located at the Strategic Air and Space Museum, adjacent to Ofert AFB in Ashland, Nebraska. Two Boeing B-52 Stratophotrices have carried the name Memphis Bell B-52G was named Memphis Bell III and took part in the 1991 Gulf War. That aircraft was retired from active service as the B-52G was phased out of USAF servicing sent to the AMARC at Davis Monthan AFB, Arizona in October, 1992. The first B-52H was named Memphis Bell IV and is currently assigned to the 2nd Bomb Wing at Barksdale Air Force Base, Louisiana, having seen action in both Iraq and Afghanistan in support of Operations Iraqi Freedom and Enduring Freedom. A McDonnell Douglas F-15E from the 336th Fighter Squadron, 4th Fighter Wing, flew with the nose art Memphis Bell III during Operation Iraqi Freedom in 2003. A Lockheed C-141 Starlifter became the Memphis Bell V. She was transferred to the AMARC inventory upon the retirement of all C-141s from active service in the U.S. Air Force, to include the Air Force Reserve and the Air National Guard. A Lockheed C-5 Galaxy was named the Memphis Bell X was assigned to the 164th Airlift Wing of the Tennessee Air National Guard at Memphis Air National Guard Base. 
a Boeing C-17 Globemaster III is named the Memphis Bell 11 assigned currently to the 164th Airlift Wing of the Tennessee Air National Guard at Memphis Air National Guard Base. Pinnacle Airlines first bombardier CRJ is named Spirit of Memphis Bell. See also, Veterans Museum, Strategic Bombing During World War II, Memphis Bell Memorial, References, Notes, Citations, Bibliography, External Links, Website of the Memphis Bell Memorial Association, Website of the 91st Bomb Group Memorial Association. Daily reports of the 324th Bomb Squadron can be viewed at this site detailing the history of Memphis Bell and crew. Memphis Bell page at National Museum of the United States Air Force, photographs of Memphis Bell when she was still at Mud Island, Memphis Bell documentary from U.S. National Archives, Restoring an Icon, The Memphis Bell, Solop.org.uk, Memphis Bell colored documentary from inside Memphis Bell bombing run over Germany.